Welcome to the Drunken Bear. No Rachel today, so I'm all on my own, but I'm gonna teach you the best transport hacks in Melbourne right now. So I'm gonna get started straight away and let you know the best hacks for trains first. So I'm gonna go through trains, buses, trams, bikes, absolutely every way, cabs, how to get about Melbourne. So for trains, there's a really cheap way. In fact, it's actually free. So if you want to spend zero money in Melbourne, then this is the hack for you. So there is a thing in Melbourne called the early bird travel. And early bird travel means if you touch on and off before 7.15 a.m., then travel is absolutely free. So the best way to do this is have a bike. So if you have a bike, bring it on the train with you in the morning. You don't have to ride it or anything, but as long as you touch off before 7.15, you can ride your bike back, and then you spend zero money for public transport, which is really, really good. But if you don't want to ride a bike, or if you don't own a bike, you don't want to use a shared bike service, you can actually just spend the two hour ticket, so it'll be about four bucks a day. So you're saving a lot of money instead of spending um, $8 a day, you're pretty much halving it. So it's a really, really good hack that a lot of people, even locals, don't know about. So you'll be one step ahead. So the next really good hack is all about buses. So buses, just to make sure that it doesn't have the early bird special, so, um, but it does have another hack, which is going to and from the airport. So um, a lot of people think Skybus or taxi is your only way to the airport. It's false. There is actually a bus, there's a few buses, and all you need is your Mikey. So all you need is a daily fare and you can get to and from the airport. There's a few different ways of doing this. Rachel explains it in this video up here, how she gets from Mooney Ponds, catches a tram to Airport West, and then a bus to the airport. And it's that easy. There's also another way of catching the train to Broadmeadow Station. And then from there, there's a 901 bus, which comes about every 15 minutes. So that's a really good one as well. So with these ones, make sure you give yourself enough time to go to the airport. It's probably not the best hack if it's a very early flight and better for more afternoon flights where you've got a bit of time to be able to doing the transfers. So that's a really, really good cheap way of getting to and from the airport. Okay, and now we're gonna talk about trams, which is my favorite way of getting around Melbourne. Uh, trams, the really good thing is the free tram zone. All around the city, not just the city circle, but all the trams running in the free tram zone. And a great way to use this free tram zone, if you do work in the city, you can, again, ride a bike and hit the outer edge of the tram zone, and then from there, you do the rest of your journey by tram. So. It's a really good way, and we had a friend that used to ride from the western suburbs to the, to the Docklands, which is um, the outer zone, and then from the Docklands into the city. So it's a really, really great way to not have to ride your bike all the way to work. Um, speaking about bikes, which I've been kind of talking about during some of these hacks which you could kind of use to get your free public transport, there is bike stations around. There's the Melbourne Bike Share and there's also O-Bike. And those bikes are kind of everywhere and you can get an app to know exactly where they are and you can use a bike that way. But also, if you're thinking more long-term, gonna stay here for about three to six months, I really recommend you buy a bike. And you can get bikes really cheap from Kmart, from Big W, or if you really want, even going to Facebook groups and getting bikes that way or Gumtree. Um, and once you get the bike, you can do the early bird travel hack, you can do the uh, free tram zone hack, or you can even just ride to and from work. Uh, Melbourne is kind of operates as a grid, and a lot of the streets have bike dedicated lanes. So it's, it's a fairly bike friendly city. Uh, you just have to be careful of cars that are parked who sometimes open their door without looking. So um, if you just be aware of that, Melbourne is really safe to bike around. So if you don't want to do any of that and you want to catch Ubers everywhere or a cab or a taxi, I really recommend Uber as the number one taxi to catch in Melbourne. So there's other apps like Taxify or Oi or even the Melbourne uh, cabs. 
um, but I really recommend Uber because once you're on the app and you go for the pickup, you're looking at no more than five minutes um, for waiting time. So for me, I've called an Uber in the outer suburbs, in the city, at midnight, at 2 a.m., at any kind of time, and I'm never waiting max 10 minutes, but usually more the three to five minute mark. So it's just a really reliable, safe way to get around Melbourne. Uh, especially if you've got some time constraints or if you don't want to be waiting at the train station late at night, you're a bit worried, uh, you just want to get from a bar um, straight back home, Uber really is the way to go. So let us know how do you get to and from work here in Melbourne or in your city? How much does it cost you for transport? So if you've got any other transport hacks, also let people know in the comments down below. I'll also be putting a link to all this information in the description so you can exactly know how to get around Melbourne the cheapest way possible. Thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next video. Bye guys!